There are two methods for making caramel. The fastest one is the dry method, where sugar is melted in layers in a wide pot. Stir constantly until smooth and a dark amber color. In the wet method, add just enough water to dissolve the sugar and heat without stirring until it reaches the same dark amber color. Once the syrup comes to a boil, the reason you don't want to mix is to prevent crystallization. This can happen when the syrup splashes onto the sides of the pot, dries, and then this dry sugar finds its way into the rest of the syrup. If this does happen though, add more water and heat to dissolve all the sugar crystals before continuing on. Once ready, mix in the warmed heavy cream. The final texture of your caramel is determined by its final temperature. After adding your warm cream, the temperature should be right around 225 degrees. This will give a caramel that when cooled will be smooth and flow easily off of a spoon. For a thicker caramel, continue to cook until it reaches 240 degrees. The final texture this time will be thicker and fall off the spoon in ribbons. When at your desired temperature, finish with butter, salt, and vanilla for a classic flavor.